Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long long time since I've vlogged from my classroom and I know that right now I'm just not ready to commit to doing a week in my class but today I wanted to take you with me and do a day in my class. So today is Thursday January 13th so I'm gonna do my best to try to show you guys what a day in my classroom is like um, in 2022. I will say that the start of the semester is going very well. We have been in person the entire time. Oh, I'm so sorry. My name is Kiana. If you are new to my channel, I am a fourth grade math, science, and social studies teacher, and it's my seventh year of teaching. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Um, but we have been in-person learning the entire time. Um, the COVID numbers are very high, but they've been sustainable. Like we've had enough staff to keep us pushing through. So we've been doing pretty good. Um, attendance has been fluctuating, but I haven't had too many students out. So that's that um but we're making do the kids are learning right now we're doing multiplying fractions but the kids will be here in a couple of minutes so i'm going to try to show you uh, me teaching today also try to show you maybe some small group things that i'm doing and just kind of what a day looks like but let me quickly show you guys my outfit i'm wearing this uh long tunic sweater from target because georgia has gotten real cold and it's really warm and fuzzy i'm wearing these leather stevie pants from old navy because they're awesome and then I have on these really cool like furry mules that I uh, got from Target as well so I'll have all that linked in my like to know it if you're interested in the mornings when my students come in um, I always have them read the board I try to give them all the information they'll need for the day on the whiteboard so I'm gonna show you my morning message and then the bell should be ringing oh and there's the bell <laughs> I feel like most of us can tell me this class. What is it? And when do we usually hear this song? When do we usually hear the Star Spangled Banner? Banner? In July? Like it's the 4th of July, we hear it often, yeah? At baseball games or pretty much all sporting events, we hear it. That's where you heard it. Anybody else? Where else might we hear this? What is this song describing? Yeah, so it's describing the American flag. What else do you think it's describing? Right, so the flag was still there with the bombs in the air. So obviously this is going to be discussing some sort of, um, what is the word? War, thank you. Okay. It is now lunchtime. Um, we have lunch at 11.37. I know it's like a weird time. So this is kind of like our halfway mark. I've taught my first block. Um, and I don't know, I'm really enjoying learning. It sucks that so many students are sick, but I think the class sizes are more realistic this way. And things are just functioning so much better with a more regular size class instead of 29 students um, only having like 24 which is a lot of students absent but it just helps the classroom function so much. Today we did some uh, multiplying fractions on a number line and then for social studies we talked about the causes of the war of 1812. I was able to make an anchor chart for my students for multiplying a whole number by unit fraction which I can show to you guys. It looks like this. That's what we started the week with. 
and then I'm going to at some point today make another one multiplying by multiples of unit fractions and then uh, while my students were doing some independent work for social studies I was able to quickly make some little mini anchor charts I also worked on this during recess uh, but I made one we learned about the causes of the war of 1812 so I made this miniature anchor chart that I'm going to stick to the wall and then I also made one for what we learned earlier in the week about the Louisiana Purchase. Um, I try to make these little mini anchor charts when there's just like key things that I want my students to know whether it's math, science, or social studies and it's easy to just put on a small sheet of paper and put it on the wall for my kids to refer back to later instead of making a really big drawn out anchor chart. So I have done that, um, but for multiplying fractions, we are sticking to the main strategies. We are using drawn models like the area model, uh, repeated addition, which is keying for me in multiply, and then the number line, uh, which is going pretty well. I'll go ahead and show you uh, the slides that I made for math. I'm not going to show you the slides that I made for social studies, um, or I'm not going to really go through them just because they are more my district's lessons. I just kind of made them um, keyonified and made them cute. Uh, but I'll show you what we did for math and um, yeah, then I'm going to eat my lunch. So here are our math lessons for today and this was the activator. They had to write two multiplication equations so hopefully they would know to do three-fourths times three and then do one-fourth times nine. Um, these were our learning targets for the day and um, what we were teaching and then this is what I did with my kids today. So we decomposed the problem and then we broke up the equal groups. So five groups of two-thirds and I showed them how to do that on a number line. So we have two-thirds, 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 two-thirds and I designated each group with a different color so my kids could easily see the five groups of two-thirds on the number line to get that answer and then we did one together as a class. Same thing, six groups of three-fourths, so three-fourths one group, three-fourths, another group, three-fourths, another group, etc. And we used the different colors to help us differentiate and got that answer and then converted it to a mixed number. And then I had my kids do like an exit ticket show what you know so I can form my small groups for next week. The formative that my students did for math was um, just three questions. So one was a word problem where they had to sh use any strategy that they would like to multiply uh, a fraction by a whole number and then they had to show me there was an equation that was given to them then they had to show me that with the three strategies that are on here so they had to show me with the area model repeated addition and number line and then on the bottom it was a multiple choice question so it's just out of six points and then I kind of group those based off of different scores and that will help me form my groups for next week for who I'm going to pull. So now it is lunchtime. I have about 15 more minutes left of lunch where I'm going to try to do all the things because that's what teachers do. So for lunch, I have um, this Chick-fil-A lunch that Dustin got for me from his school. That's why it says Ecker on it. And it has, I think, some chicken tenders cookies and um, the Chick-fil-A waffle potato chips but I want to talk to you guys about my water journey so I've been trying to do better about my water intake in 2022 um, and I've been trying to have my students hold me accountable this water bottle is really cool because you see it has like hours on it and it kind of tells you where you should be at a certain time of day I don't know if you guys can actually see that so right now my water is at 11 a.m. which is not where I should be I should be at actually it's not even at 11 it's just past 9 It's closer to 10 so I need to be at the 11 a.m. mark so I'm gonna try to chug that for lunch even though it's gonna have to make me use the restroom a lot and heat up my lunch I also want to make a reel for how, showing other teachers how to multiply a whole number of times a multiple like a fraction using up to five strategies so if I can do all of that at once, I'm going to try to knock that out all before my kids come back from lunch and also try to use the restroom because we know that we don't really get coverage. Um, later today, I have my second block, so I'm going to be doing everything I just shared with you. And then I have an IEP meeting during my planning time. So I don't think I'm going to be able to check in with you during planning, but I'll be able to check in with you guys after school and tell you how the afternoon went. But I'm going to go ahead and get my lunch together and I will check in with you guys later.
I forgot to mention that in addition to drinking my water, I am for sure having my Celsius. I have one almost every day, so today we have the Peach Vibe Celsius. I try to make this stretch through at least both of my teaching blocks so I don't lose my energy in my second block and like become the angry teacher that I can't be when I'm tired. playlist with you guys from Spotify this is like the surfaces essentials playlist so like some of their top hits and I love playing this playlist when my kids come in in the morning we've been kind of vibing to this if you don't listen to uh, surfaces they are just very vibey like I don't know how else to explain it all the beach chill vibes so none of the words I mean none of the songs have bad words none of them have bad messages it's not talking about alcohol or anything partying it's all just like so good peaceful positive vibes so i like to play this in the morning some of the songs are more t um, mellow some of the songs are more upbeat but nothing is like too inappropriate or too crazy for the classroom so i wanted to share this playlist with you if you are looking for a vibey playlist or you just love surfaces like i do so this is how i'm getting creative with trying to record um a an overview so I have these bins stacked up here and then I just have two yardsticks going across the top I'm actually gonna add one more bin to this side and one more bin to this side and then try to record a reel really quick in the next five minutes before my kids come back for the second half of the day It is after school now. It's about 10 minutes after my contract hours. Dismissal today took much longer than usual because bus driver shortages due to the pandemic. So dismissal is taking like 45 minutes now for all the buses to come. I am trying to get all my copies ready for next week so that I can head out of here and go home and work out. Um, so I'm going to handle these tasks, maybe make another anchor chart, and then I'm going to head out for the day. and does return things back to how they were. That is like a big pet peeve. If the lights were off, just turn them back off. If the door was closed, just close the door back. I digress. Back to work I go. All right guys, it is an hour after my contract time now. That went by quickly, but I have all my copies printed for next week. I have planned all of my small groups for next week. Um, I plan my teacher-led small groups for the next two weeks and things are just ready to um, kind of go. So the only thing left for next week is printing out or creating my slides that I plan to use to teach, which I will probably do this weekend, which doesn't take as long because I enjoy making slides. So I'm finally going to start to gather myself and head out. Um, I'm here late, but it's productive and it's less work that I have to do when I get home. I am <laughs> going to show you guys my water. Here's the progress I've made. I don't know if you guys can see. So we're at 3 p.m. and it's 5 p.m. So I'm only two hours behind, which is not that bad, but I'm not going to drink it now because then I'll have to use the restroom on my long drive home, and that's a no-go. But today was a good day. Like I said before, you really feel the difference when you have kids missing when your class is gigantic like mine, and it's like a good difference. <music>
better about leaving my workspace a little bit neater each day than I did in the first semester. So at least I have piles that I know what to do with in the morning. I'm, got, I'm about to use the restroom and head out and I'll see you guys at home. Excuse the poor lighting. <laughs> oh, sorry, I cut you off. What are we about to do, babe? Workouts. <laughs> He's been begging for me to do this. And now... I already do my own workouts. We, so I'm doing two-a-days. But not today. Because he won't work out without me. But he's not doing two days today. Today, but every other day. This is day 12 in a row of exercising. Yeah, so 24 workouts almost in 12 days for me. He literally has not done two-a-days every day. Most days. No, some days. Almost this all is days. the only exercise, and then you skip That's both cat. yoga days. Either way, today is leg day with a bonus of 10-minute abs, so... Yay. <laughs> He's going to leave me hanging. And then it looks like Dustin's got a big stack of papers to grade. So I guess Super I exciting. will be making a reel and um, then digging into wedding planning binder things. Let's and at some this. point we're going to eat dinner. I'm hungry already. I'm tired. All right, time to change. <laughs> oh, yeah. The exhaustion's real. This might be the tackiest workout outfit I've worn since we started working out. workout is done. I'm now feeling the exhaustion that I didn't feel earlier today. It wasn't my best workout, but done is better than not done, or whatever the phrase is. <laughs> done is better than perfect. I believe that's what the phrase is. So I'm going to have dinner, get showered, and tell, right, my, fiance that I love him. Oh, thank you, tell my fiance that I love him. I want to say, like, do a lot of things, but I'm also, like, feeling so tired now that that workout's over, so. Woo! Early bedtime! We'll see. This is called a Dustin doesn't get it. <laughs> About to say some bad words. <laughs> What's for Din Din? Moe's Moe's. Lunch Moe's. Yeah. <laughs> a leftover lunch. From work. Stefan's job got the plug, so we have dinner from school <laughs> often, but it works out. We have to cook. So Moe's it is for dinner. Hey guys, it is like 10 something, probably 1030. We have taken our melatonin for bed and I'm not going to last much longer. I forgot to kind of wrap up the end of this vlog, but you've kind of gotten to see a day in my life. Uh, the tides have changed a bit, so I'm definitely not feeling as negative as I was feeling just like six weeks ago. Um, things are feeling better. Can't promise that that's going to stay, uh, but for now, things are good. So I wanted to document that and share that with you, especially for all the people that were on this journey with me when I was going through a hard time. But happy new year, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. Bye.